guys, it's Tilly and we are four days into June and already I have managed to accumulate a huge pile of books that I have bought this month. So this is going to be my story time book haul video. So it all started when um, my family decided it was going to have a small outing to the city. So me and my family don't really go to the city very often and when we do, we like to get the most out of the situation. So of course, we did a pub crawl as we went along doing the tasks that we had originally planned to do in the city. So for me, that entailed going to bookstores because how can I pass up an opportunity to go to bookstores? So I did that. I firstly went to Dimmicks for my friend Meg Caddy who had her book signing. So for those of you who don't know about this book, um, it is an awesome fantasy standalone book to do with werewolves and action and it's really amazing and if you guys like fantasy, you guys should go and pick it up. Um, Meg is an absolutely lovely person and yeah, just go say hi to her as well. And then I went to my first bar and I had a drink and it was really nice. Um, basically I got like my good old pint of cider and drank that down. Then my next stop was off to Boffin's bookstore which is like my favourite bookstore ever where I may have purchased a few books. Basically some of these are like long awaited and I should have bought them way earlier but I hadn't really gotten around to doing it yet so of course I decided to spend a bit of money at Boffin's. So the first one I got is The Last Star by Rick Yancey. This is the third and final book in the Fifth Wave series. Um, I haven't heard anyone feedback on this yet. It's only been out now for like a few weeks. Not even, I don't think. But um, I'm, I'm not really sure how it's going to go, but I really do hope it's going to be a really nice ending to the series. The next one I got is so, so beautiful. Um, I've heard lots of good things about it. I didn't get a chance to read it yet, but that's why I bought the book, so that I could read it. And that is The Loneliness of a Distant Being by Kate Ling. And basically, like, in my opinion, this is like one of the most beautiful book covers ever. Um, you guys can set the starry thing in the back there. And it's just, I'm so excited for it. The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. And I am very excited because I have been waiting until this book comes out so that I can read The Raven Boy. It sounds like it's going to be amazing and there's characters that I'm just going to want to hug forever and add to my list of babies that I want to protect for the rest of their lives. Plus the book is so beautiful. And lastly from Boffins I've got The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Rorden. And yeah, I'm pretty much trash for this demigod stuff that Rick Rorden keeps on producing. So of course I had to pick up this book and I really hope it's as fun and as great as all the other ones and I really cannot wait to read it. And then I went to two more pubs and by that time I think I'd had about five pints. Of cider. For me, a very short person, I was kind of like in that happy buzz stage. But anyway, I found myself stumbling into Stefan's bookstore and I do remember this entire experience because Stefan, who owns the bookstore, is like the coolest person that I have ever met in my life and he had so many good books. So of course, me being me, slightly intoxicated me, decided to spend all my money on books. So the first one that I got was Jump by Sean Williams and this is a really really amazing series from what I've heard so far. It is a trilogy and I have only got the first book in it but I have a feeling that I'm going to want to go and buy the other two almost immediately because I'm going to be hooked. And then I also bought the book two and book three. I think it's the News Flesh um, trilogy. Either way, uh, the first book is called Feed. It is pretty much about a brother and sister duo who are in a zombie apocalypse, but they pretty much thrive on letting the world know the news of what is currently happening in this zombie infested world. And it's very action packed and dangerous. And the twist in the end of it completely broke my heart into two. And I thought it was probably about time now that I read the rest of the series and hopefully it won't kill me as much as Feed did but I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I love the first book, so I'm sure I'm going to love these ones too. And if you guys were following me on Twitter, um, I did make an announcement that I drunkenly bought Throne of Glass um, and Sarah J Maas' other series, A Court of Thorns and Roses in hardcover. It is, in my opinion, the greatest decision of my life because these books are so beautiful, especially in hardcover. And I cannot wait to just, you know, stare at them and take a million book photos with them because they're just so beautiful and so perfect. And I just, guys, just give me a minute. So yes, I, I now have like three copies of A Court of Thorn and Roses, two copies of A Court 
three copies of Court of Mist and Fury. And also my Throne of Glass ones, um, which I think I have like multiple copies of this series now, mostly because I'm such trash for this wonderful fantasy and Sarah J Maas in general. So you have Throne of Glass, this one is the first one in the series, and it is just a fantastic fantasy with this amazing assassin who just kicks ass and is just wonderful. Um, and basically as the books go on, she has some amazing character development and she introduces brand new characters that you just completely fall in love with. Like, it's so crazy the way that Sarah J Maas writes, the description she does, it's all so fantastic. And it kind of doesn't feel like you're reading in my head, I feel like I'm watching a movie or like it's real life. Um, by the way, Air Fire is totally the best one out of all of them so far. Like, even the bad characters are my favourite characters. And Sarah J Maas just does that so right and she's so funny and wonderful and I'm so not ready for the, both of these series to end next year, okay? Because what am I gonna do? Like, my life is just waiting for the next book in this series to come out. Like, that's how I go by my years, you know? But I won't be able to do it soon. Anyway, that is pretty much my drunken um, story time book haul. It's kind of all over the place, but you'll have to excuse me because I am slightly hungover today and I need a Red Bull and I haven't had lunch and my life is a mess. Getting sidetracked. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. I'm sure I'll be back with another video and until then, um, I'll be posting like photos everywhere of my new babies because I love them so much. And yeah, we can all admit um, and understand from this video that I have a terrible book buying problem. I need to get help and I also need to avoid all bookstores when I am intoxicated. Even when I'm not drinking. I should just avoid bookstores forever. Who <laughs> are we kidding? Of course I'm going to go to a bookstore again. Like tomorrow probably. I'm gonna go before I keep on rambling. So um, anyway, have a great bookish week. I hope you guys are doing fantastic things and enjoying your lives. Oh, and also if you guys are wondering why I should avoid bookstores, well, I'll just show you my TBR shelf, book bookshelf. It is um this beautiful piece of work here. That is all my TBR, plus the books that I just bought today. It's a problem, but it is a good problem. Bye.